hello guys so as you can see i have had this aloe soaking in water already i just went ahead and cut the plant into about four or five different big chunk segments and i just let the yellow latex inside of the plant go ahead and soak out of it into the water because you do not want that yellow latex on your skin or in your hair or however else you're going to utilize this mixture so make sure you do that as step one so now that that's done and all the latex is soaked out as you can see i'm going in with a knife want it to be sharp but not too sharp and i'm just cutting the skin off of the aloe so go ahead and cut down the sides that's what's easiest for me removing the prickly part and then I just go ahead and cut off the back and the front. So that's what I'm doing right here. Definitely did this a little bit messy. I would usually put the actual aloe meat into another bowl. But as you can see, I'm just kind of putting it on the countertop. And that's fine as well. And on to my next segment, cutting down one side. As you can see, the aloe meat inside. Cutting off the back or the front. And then cutting off the other side. And you wanna be careful doing this because as you can see, the knife is sharp. And we've got some nice aloe meat. Look at all of that. Nice and juicy and thick. And this aloe leaf I actually had for about three weeks. So it stays good for a while before you actually decide to cut it open and use it. And we are on to our next chunk. Cutting off the side and now cutting off the back making sure not to leave too much of that meat on the skin we want to try and salvage as much of the meat as possible so you can see i'm cutting really close to the skin to try and make sure i'm not cutting off a big portion of the meat and there we go got all of our skins and that can go in the trash and then we have our aloe and our yellow water look at all that yellow latex that came out of it yucky now i'm just over here washing up a little bit and putting all of our chunks back into the bowl scooping up any leftover aloe juice can't waste that And now I've got the nice blender. So you guys, I just use the Oster blender with a cup that comes with it and you literally just like screw on the blade, stick the whole cup in and it blends whatever you're trying to blend. Maybe not the most professional, most elite blender, but it does the trick for me when I'm making smoothies and in this case, my aloe hair mask. So take the cup. Go ahead and just drop the chunks in. And in this case, I'm just blending the aloe. I'm not adding any other ingredients. However, as you're probably aware of, if you wanted to make an aloe hair mask, you could definitely add some types of oils, grapeseed, castor, coconut, vitamin E, and then avocado and whatever else you wanted to add. But for me, I'm just doing the aloe juice. So I have now put the blade onto the cup and I have it blending and dropped it down onto the blender and you just hold it down with your hand, add some pressure. And I want to make sure that all of the chunks are completely blended down. So it's probably good by now, but I'm leaving it on for an extra second just to make sure all the pulp and everything gets blended properly.
And now I have to go ahead and take this old t-shirt. You guys can use some type of rag. Just make sure whatever it is, it's not too thick because you don't wanna lose all of your juice. But you basically have to strain this mixture because there is pulp in the aloe meat. And it doesn't look like it, like it looked like it was just all liquid. But if you take that mixture without straining it and try and use it on your hair, your hair is gonna be full of aloe meat, which is extremely hard to get out of your hair once it's in there and especially once it's dried in there. So go ahead and just strain it out. Like I said, use a t-shirt or some other type of thin cloth. The t-shirt works really well for me. And all the juices in the bowl, I'm just straining out every last bit. So I literally just squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. And then that last little pocket that I'm going to show you is all aloe pulp. getting every last drop there and there it is see all that pulp that was left in there that meat that didn't actually get grinded up See, quite a bit and you do not want that in your hair or wherever you're wherever else you're gonna use this mixture and I'm just taking it out of the shirt because I do reuse this as like a rag so I don't want to wash it and have aloe meat in my washer and dryer all right guys so that is the end of the video I was just basically saying that you don't want to have a whole bunch of pulp from the aloe in your washing machine when you go to wash out that rag or that cloth but basically that is how I make my aloe hair mask, face mask, whatever you want to use it for. Just short and simple. Like I said, I didn't add any extra ingredients, but that is the process. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below and I will see you guys next time. Peace.